This week's video uh, springs from a new place uh, in our lives. Uh, it comes from my own heart. Uh, that is to say, from my own uh, prayer during this season of Advent. Uh, one thing that has been coming up for me are what, what are ways that we can more fruitfully celebrate the season of Advent? How can the season of Advent be the time of genuinely preparing ourselves in every way uh, for the celebration of the solemnity of the Nativity of the Lord, which is coming up here in another couple of weeks? One clear one for me and if you've heard either of my homilies during Advent, you have already heard this, but it bears repeating, uh, and, or in case you haven't heard it, I wanted to share it with you. And it is to take a passage from Scripture and make it your own. If it is a statement, it's you saying it. If it's a question, it's you asking it. And direct it to God. Uh, this week, uh, in this weekend's readings, uh, the statement is, My soul magnifies the greatness of God. And on further reflection, you might ask yourself, Well, how is it that my soul magnifies, proclaims the greatness of God? And more specifically, how is my heart proclaiming or magnifying the greatness of God in a way that it didn't yesterday or last week or at the beginning of Advent or at the beginning of the year. You can set any time frame for yourself that you would like. And the petition becomes, Lord, show me a way that my heart, my soul can magnify, can proclaim your greatness in my life, in something that I say, something that I do, uh, in my bearing or my intention, in my relationship with another person, in the manner in which I undertake a particular activity or element of work in my life. Every baptized soul has the opportunity each day to take a step closer to making that manifest in their lives, that our, our souls and our hearts magnify the greatness of God. And so set about, let, let God speak to you, let God suggest to you a manner in which that might be so. And that's how we celebrate a great Advent, that's how we prepare ourselves to, uh, on the Advent, or on the solemnity of his birth, to see the face of our salvation as though we were seeing it for the first time. And so... Bearing all these things in mind, remember that God is who he says he is. You are who he says you are and live the life that he created you to live.